Today, I'm extremely excited to bring you the test of a brand new light on the market. This is the Luxter Punisher LED headlight upgrade. My initial testing shows that this is very promising, and for the money, it might be a contender for the best value LED headlight upgrade of the year. Why do I say that? Well, stick around, and I'll tell you. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Car Light Reviews, where I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision, enjoy your car better, and save you money. And I'm bringing you a review of this, the new Luxter Punisher LED headlight upgrade. Luxter is a new company on the market, and this is their first release called the Punisher. And they sent this to me to test and claim that I would be very impressed with it. We'll find out if they're right. But before I continue, there's something I want to get out of the way up front. I do not and will not accept any form of compensation to provide anything other than an honest, unbiased, and objective review. I believe in honesty and transparency and providing accurate information to you, my channel viewers, because if you can't trust me, you won't have a reason to watch my videos. So now that I got that out of the way, let's see what's in the box, and then after that I'll get to my observations, published specifications, and testing. comes with a manual with some full color pictures. You can also consult your owner's manual, but overall these are plug and play. Remove your factory bulb and replace with these. It's packaged pretty nicely too. It's not the same repackaged type of stuff that you see often. Let's take a look at the lights. So my initial observations. Overall, cool looking light. Similar design to the Hikari Titanova, which was my pick of the best overall LED headlight upgrade for 2022. Check the links in the description for that one if you haven't already. But for this one, it's got some pretty good attention to detail. You see the scallops right here and here. It's got some really fine knurling along the fan. It has a guard on the fan to protect it, which I always like. When you're installing it, sometimes you just naturally want to put your thumb on that and push to get it installed, which could break the fan. I like seeing a guard on that for that reason as well as just general protection. It has a pretty compact design, both the main unit and for the driver. And it has a pretty shallow fan, and this is good for people who don't have very deep dust caps uh, on their factory headlights. 36 millimeters deep from the back of the mounting tabs to the back of the guard, and it's also 36 millimeters in diameter. And going back to the design, it has this exposed copper cooling tube that I'm starting to see more and more on the designs along with two additional cooling tubes here. As you saw, it has an external driver. It's pretty compact. We got some nice braided cables. I like to see that. And it does have an adjustable collar like that. Overall, pretty good looking light. Now let's talk about the published specifications from Luxter. 70 watts each, 20,000 lumens each, color temperature of 6,000 K, so it's not quite as blue as a lot of the other lights out there. It has a Talon LED chip. I believe that to be proprietary because I've never heard of it before, so I gotta assume it is. It does have a polar sensitive plug and an IP rating of 68, an hour rating of 100,000 with a two year warranty. And the price at the time of this video before any discounts, $69.99. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some ways where you can save quite a few bucks off this unit if you're interested in it. But for now, if you haven't already, it's important that you check out my one minute video covering my test methods. It also covers aiming headlights, picking the right headlight and the legality of LED bulbs. I put a link in the description below and it's important to be educated on these topics, which is why I mention it in every video. But now let's see if I am as impressed with the Luxter Punisher as the company thought I would be. And here we go with the projector test, which comes out to 2,690 initial lux. That's 1,965 higher than halogen. This one is pretty bright, guys. Third brightest that I've tested so far for initial brightness. It's only 40 lux behind the powerful Diamond Vision F9 and 90 lux behind the Novsight N60 for initial brightness. But what is more important is how much light output it keeps over time. After the average commute time in the United States of 27 minutes, the Punisher measures 2,098 lux in my test environment, thanks to it keeping 78% of that light output. This is just a percentage or two higher than the Diamond Vision F9 and Novsight N60, which means that the Punisher is keeping up with them pretty well. Now something I wanna mention, all LED lights like this should level off over time as the driver regulates the output to keep them from overheating. 
But there's something really interesting that I noticed. The Punisher levels off within four minutes of starting the 27 minute test, which is much faster than usual. And it stayed rock steady from that point on. Now I thought my Lux meter had frozen or became defective because it just wasn't moving. Now, I'm not 100% sure at this time if that's a good thing or a bad thing or not for it to level off and then go steady so fast, but it was very interesting to notice, and I want to know what do you guys think. I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Or is it not even a thing at all? But for now, let's take a look at the pattern compared to halogen. And check this out. This one is a very close match to the halogen bulb that my projector was designed for. The cutoff is clean, the overall light output is full from side to side, and even the weak spot here that is very common in my tests is almost non-existent. The only concern I have is that the cutoff is slightly higher than the hot spot that I would like to see, but overall the projector output of this one is very good. In fact, as I mentioned the Hikari Titan Nova earlier in this video, I think the outputs are very similar. Something to consider. So far, yes, I am indeed impressed with this, but let's see how well it does in the reflector housing test. And here's those results. 4,960 lux, or 4,050, over the halogen output for my test reflector housing. And like the projector, it is the third brightest in what I have tested to date for initial reflector output. Not far behind the Diamond Vision F9 and Novsight N60. And keeping that 78% of light output over time, it keeps the pace with them at 3,869 lux after 27 minutes, which is 2,959 lux over halogen. And speaking of halogen, let's look at the reflector light pattern compared to it. It does rather well. It is a tad bit fuzzy along the top edge compared to halogen. And you can see it does get a bit blurry right here, but it is also a bit fuller over here on the right side. Now, honestly, I don't think it does quite as well as it did in the projector test, but still, there's nothing major here that concerns me. And since I mentioned a comparison to the Titan Nova in the projector test, I think that in my test environment, the Titan Nova does do a bit better than this Punisher does in the reflector test. But like the Diamond Vision F9 and Novsight N60 that I also mentioned, it's not far behind them at all. As mentioned earlier, there is a published rating of 70 watts per light, and I observed 66.2 watts in my test, just 3.8 watts less than published, which is better than average. For heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, my FLIR thermal camera recorded 241 degrees Fahrenheit, or 116 degrees Celsius for the main unit, which is quite a bit on the high side. However, for the driver, I measured 184 degrees Fahrenheit, or 84 degrees Celsius, which is very high. In fact, it has the highest temperature for the driver that I have tested so far since I started using a FLIR thermal camera. And that is a bit concerning, but keep in mind that the filament of a halogen bulb gets many times hotter than that. I also did notice that it has a slightly louder than average fan, but that is really subjective to the ear that hears it, and it can be reduced by the design of the headlight and the vehicle that it will be mounted in. Now, the data that my testing generates is a very valuable tool to help you narrow down the best light upgrade for your needs and budget, and I compile all that data into a free spreadsheet that I link in the description of every video, so check it out if you haven't already. This light has a lot going for it. Very bright, very good projector output, good reflector output. I just wish the cutoff was a bit closer to the hot spot, and I wish that the driver ran a lot cooler. Now, if both of those wishes came true, this would be a near-perfect light for the money. But even with those shortcomings, what makes this light something to consider is the price. $69.99 before any discounts. But Luxter set up a temporary discount page on Amazon that I will link to below that gets viewers of this channel 20% off, making the Luxter Punisher just $55.99 per pair. And depending on when you watch this video, if that special link doesn't work, they also set up a special coupon code just for you guys, which is also in the description. Now, I don't know how long either one of those will be valid, so check it out. And if you give these lights a shot, let me know how they work out for you in the comments below. But overall, the bottom line is, is I think this is a pretty good value for what you get. And at the end of this year, I'll be doing another Best LED Headlight Upgrade of the Year Awards video for 2023. And I think this is a contender for Best Value LED Headlight Upgrade. We'll see what the competition brings in the future tests, so keep an eye out for my next videos. But until then, 
Thanks for the suggestions. Thanks for the support of Carlite Reviews. And thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you to choose the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. So as always, be sure to keep your headlights aimed correctly and drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully. Thank <laughs> you.